Hi. In this video, I will guide you through example 10 that comes inside the DoZUI package. Let's get started. So I opened this uh, scene, E10, animated bars, and you can do that as well. If you go to Doozy, example, scenes, and double click E10 animated bars. It's recommended that you view this in landscape mode and that your scene is set to 2D, not 3D mode. Let's press play. It's a very simple scene that actually shows, shows you some implementations of a progress bar. They're all animations and you can see how they look. Believe it or not, all of these are a single animation with different settings. So this is th these use the same animation, nothing, uh, nothing uh, else. And we just change some uh, parameters. And I'm going to do that right now. You can play around with it. It's very easy. Let's select, I don't know, this one. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 2.7. And let's make it a square. So I'm going to select the fill and the background and change it to a rounded square. Where do I have a rounded square? So this is my rounded square. And also my fill should be filled. Yeah, something like that. I don't know what's the, the proper setting right now. And also I need a rim. So again, rounded. And maybe this one. There you go. Yeah, it's not that one. The previous one. Am I looking? So 64 and 64. And 64, yeah, this should be, come on, yeah, that's it. So I've just turned this into a square. I can also change the font. So let's select the text. Let's make it uh, smaller and let's change the font. Let's zoom in a bit. So I'm messing around with this one. So you can see how easy you can easily you can change the everything inside of it. Secular, yeah. Let's put uh, I don't know this one and let's make it bigger again. And now again I can uh, I can change it. There you go. So I've just changed this in a few clicks, just changing the settings. It's really very easy to do, and uh, yeah, you should play around with it. I'm gonna go back to being ground. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to show you this. This is actually an animation and we're messing with a progress target animator. And yeah, this is the animation. And you may notice that the value doesn't change because this particular value is controlled by a progress target text. We use text in instead of text mesh pro. So in case you do not have it installed, you can uh, have a nice experience. Otherwise we would have used uh, a text component here and at progress target text mesh pro instead of uh, this one so yeah this is the whole thing it's really pretty basic and this slider controls these uh progressors so we have a progressor that controls everything from here it cannot be updated in edit mode because uh, the animators cannot be controlled unless you're in uh, play mode at runtime and I believe I can also change it from here. And we use we set it to use this slider. Oh, one more thing. You can also animate this. So let's animate it in 0.5. Check it out. Let's also add some uh, personality. So let's say out back. Let's animate in 0.8, a bit slower. Let's say out bounce. Check it out. Yeah, this is really very easy to do, and you can also do it. Let's say out court. Yeah, and yeah, that's it for uh, point two. So it's a bit faster. It has a small delay. And no animation, zero delay. It's 100% connected to, to this slider. And yeah, this was the example 10. Thank you.